You can't really know where you're going till you know where you've been, said poet Maya Angelou. Well, understanding how pride began here in Tampa Bay starts with uncovering the history that's often been hidden away. This is the history. And in this box, we have a lot of newspapers. That hasn't been included in the textbooks. It's a lot. <laughs> thousands and thousands of papers, pictures, pamphlets. Shelves and shelves and never-ending shelves of boxes of just glorious queer history. The history that's so often been hidden. So this is our main special collections department. Now, right here on the fourth floor of the USF Tampa Library, a collection nearly 20 years in the making, documenting the good, the grotesque, the gay history of Florida and Tampa Bay in a way you have never seen it before. You'll see a lot of... Sydney Jordan and Mimi Koto are part of the small staff trying to piece it all together. You get a sense of work locally that went into sustaining the communities, what people were fighting for and against to get to that moment of pride and celebration. There's a whole history behind it. Like these photos dating back to the 1940s and 50s taken by local trans photographer Bobby Smith in the Tampa bars that would become havens for the LGBTQ community. And there are a lot of newspaper articles about raids in them, um, you know, and police interactions in the bars, but this was a photographer who was just taking pictures of friends. He met his wife there. These are places we've looked at the addresses. They don't exist anymore. The buildings themselves were historic buildings. They're not there. There's no record maintained of it. A lot of that generation is no longer around, and it's very important to connect people with that. You could spend hours thumbing through the photos alone, snapshots into the early years of Pride in Tampa Bay. You realize too how kind of more mainstream these have become. Posters and pamphlets show the progress and the persecution endured to get there. We do have historic documents, like the purple pamphlet. Jordan showed us some of the records from the Johns Committee, the Florida legislature's literal hunt for homosexuals in the state's universities back in the 1950s and 60s. It was a study of, you know, the homosexual threat in the state of Florida. These are the records of a hidden, sometimes hideous history right here at home a history that so often was hiding in plain sight. This is our queer LGBTQ plus history locally. And that's the best part of this, is that you can find scenes and places that you can still see today and see that queer and LGBTQ plus people existed.